Oh well, you know what? It's really funny because I I did the voice I think it's three series ago and uh, as performers, however much success you've had, you never stop putting yourself out there. We never you have to put yourself out there. And the voice for me was just an opportunity, and I didn't really think too much about it. And it's had such a massive impact. So many people ask me about it. Oh, thanks very much. Um, and I just thought, it came, they asked me to go on the show, and I thought, why not? You know, I get to sing for the nation, I get to be reminded to the nation, and I get to sing with a fantastic band. And for me, it, I think I was worldwide, um, what do you call it, tweeting, um, when they, trending, I said. <laughs> I should know, really, shouldn't I? It's shameful. Um, and it did me so many favours just by going on because so many people were like, oh yeah, yeah, I saw you on that, oh yeah, it was great. And it was kind of like they forgot that I didn't get through, which was fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny now though, because Ricky's on there, and I know Ricky, it would have been funny if I'd have gone on when Ricky was there, or not funny. Um, yeah, I didn't really think about it too much. Brian nearly killed me even when I popped up. I did tell him. <laughs> I won't be doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Hi. What's your favourite role? Ah, so difficult because they're all, they're like, they're so special because they take over like a, your life for a year or two years. Um, they're all very special and you really get into that character and you, be, you slightly become that character for a year. Not that I became green or anything for you, <laughs> but I did actually, I had a bit of a tinge. Um, I guess Wicked is, is quite the big one because it took me to Broadway, um, which was an absolute dream and absolute crazy. Um, but My Fair Lady was my first West End show. We Were Rocky was my first originating role. Les Mis um, then led to the film. Um, so they're all so, they're all special to me. I can't really choose, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> Anyone else? Hi. Uh, um, when did you find your kind of voice as a child? What led you down that path? Was there any good inspiration? Or did you just love singing that I think I just loved it. I, I was a performer from a, or well, a performer. I went to a local dance school when I was a toddler. And I actually danced through, through my younger years. Um, not that you'd believe it. Um, and then I kind of started singing at festivals, at um, local dance festivals. And I did these summer dance solos and everyone was going, oh, you know, you're really good. And I was kind of like, yeah, but they say that to all kids, you know. So and it wasn't until I was about 16 and I went and worked for a holiday camp. And I would just get this response when I would do a number. And it was like, mm, not everybody seems to be getting this response. You know, this is, all right, maybe I'm, I can sing a bit. And then I went to college and kind of um, sang a little bit there, and it was then it just kind of naturally happened. I always knew that I wanted to perform, and I knew that I wanted to sing, but I didn't know in what capacity it would happen. I didn't know whether I'd be a, in theatre or, or, or in other shows, or I don't know. I didn't know how it would happen. So I'm very grateful though to how it has happened. <laughs> Anyone? Just in the, you know. What what plans have you got for the future? I know you've got an album coming out. Are there any more um, roles that you really want to play or anything else that you're planning on doing? There's loads. It's funny, I still feel like I've scratched the surface. You know, there's so much to do. Uh, there's so many more shows. I'd love to originate another role. Um, I'm doing an album this year, uh, the show that I did at the London Palladium last year. Very proud of that. Um, and yeah, just more touring. I tour with Brian, we're working on more stuff. Um, yeah, more shows. Looking after my son. <laughs> he comes with me, it's great. <laughs> one more. One more? Yes. Hello. When you sing, are there any songs that you sing that you've got such an emotional link to that it's hard to sort of, um, I know you're very professional, but do Get you them out. get to a point where you think, oh, this is going to make me well up at all? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Um, yeah, it's, it's very. Um, it depends what's going on in your life as well. Um, I've put a song in at the end of, I'm doing small gigs at the Pheasantry. Uh, I did one last night and the night before and I got one tonight. And at the end of my set, I put in um, Alfie and I've never sung that song before. Well, I was a mess, I couldn't get through it. Um, but yeah, I guess, I, I, 
think because you immerse yourself in, in roles so much, it depends on what the song is in the show, but all the time. And I think it's good. I think the more honest you are and the more connected to the piece or the song, I think the better it is. Put our hands together. We're going to revisit Seasons of Love, and Kerry has literally just come off tour with Rent. Having a dish, you're probably bored of this by now, in fact. But it's a new arrangement, it's a different arrangement, so at least we'll pick out some different things. And, um, and we're, we're just going to revisit.